So one of the first things I noticed about Kataro was just how well he takes care of Garner. And that is no easy task. <laughs> Kataro truly, truly takes care of Garner and I really appreciate that. But most importantly, I wanna thank you for loving Garner, being her person, and we, we thank you so, so much for loving her enough to move to Georgia because we really, we're really excited to have y'all here. Yeah. It makes sense why he fell in love with Gardner. There's a balance in, uh, you know, keeping your partner accountable and kind of nurturing who they are as a person. And she does that with, you know, just beautiful grace. And I think it's great. And I'm very glad that my buddy kind of found her and they're happy and they're beautiful and I'm so happy for them. Congratulations. So, there you go. Cheers. So why are we here? Yes, we are here for your wedding, for you, Kataro, to stand before your bride, and you, Garner, to stand before your groom and commit and pledge your lives to one another. So let me read from the book of Ephesians. He says, therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ in the church. We all know that there's many joys and there's many benefits to marriage, which God designed for us like intimacy, like the building of a family, like having a partner for life, but those are not the main purpose. The purpose of your marriage is to put the gospel of Jesus Christ on display to a lost world. So God, we do come before you acknowledging that, again, this day was planned before the foundation of the world. And so Lord, for Kataro and Garner, we pray, Lord, that in, in times of difficulty, you give them patience with one another. In times of joy and happiness, Lord, you will let them savor those moments and be grateful. But most importantly, as we talked about today, would you let their marriage put on a display of something bigger than just two couples together? The love that you had for your church, the self sacrificing love that caused you to lay down your body for the church. And I pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, based on your covenant to one another today before these witnesses, it is my honor and privilege to proclaim that you are now husband and wife. Kataro Ricketts, you may kiss your bride.